Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product is Lazy Random Walks for Super Pixel Segmentation. In this paper, we have done a modification that means patches and labels. We have included an enhancement of patches and labels in this paper. We present a novel image super pixel segmentation approach using the proposed Lazy Random Walk algorithm. In this paper, our method begins with initializing the seat positions and runs the lazy random walk algorithm and the input image to obtain the probabilistic of each pixel. Then the boundaries of initial super pixels are obtained according to the probabilist and the commute time. The initial super pixels are iteratively optimized the newer energy function which is defined on commute time and the texture measurements. Our LRW algorithm with self loops has the merits of segmentation the weak boundaries on complicated texture regions very well by the new global probability maps and the commute time strategy. The performance of super pixel is improved by relocating the center position of super pixels and dividing the largest super pixels into small ones with the proposed optimization algorithm. The experimental results have demonstrated that our method achieves better performance than the previous superpixel approaches. Superpixels are commonly defined as contracting as grouping uniform pixels in the image, which have been widely used in many computer vision applications such as image segmentation and object recognition. The superpixel concept was originally presented by Ren and Mollick as defining the receptability uniform region using the normalized cuts. The main merit of superpixel is to provide a more neutral and perceptually meaningful representation of the input image. Therefore, compared to the traditional pixels representation of the image, the superpixel representation greatly reduces the number of images primitives and improves the representative efficiency. Furthermore, it is more convenient and effective to commute the region based visual features by superpixels which will provide them importance benefits for the vision tasks such as object recognition. There is a large amount of literature on automatic superpixel algorithms. For example, the previous methods are based on normalized records, mean shift algorithm, graph based methods, turbo pixels, slice superpixels, optimized based superpixels, etc. Here, the proposed this block diagram states about our proposed design. Our proposed designs initially we are having input in database format. That means we have the database as Berkeley datasets. That means the Berkeley datasets is taken for our process that consists in a folder as a database for our project. So before the processing, we are applying pre-processing in this first. So pre-processing it's done the filtering of an image. So normally an image may consist of salt and pepper or other noises. For that removal of noises we are using any filtering in that process. That is called pre-processing. And then that is our proposed method is implemented here called patches and labeling. So initially the patches is based on color mapping and labeling is based on cluster. So the patching and labeling are two process. Patching is mapping the colors corresponding to the image depends on color map and the color map regions are labeled into clusters and while we are segmenting the unlabeled clusters that means unwanted regions are neglected during the segmentation. So the segmented result is taken for the analysis of performance. So in this analysis of performance after the segmentation result we are classifying the image as an enhancement in this paper. So classification is the part of this enhancement. We can whether if we need to classify the image as whether it is a flower or whether it is an animal, we can use this classification. So in the performance results, 
which performance results shows our proposed methodology gives better results than the previous methods. We can analyze these results by classification accuracy and segmentation accuracy and some other results. Our parameter of proposed enhancement and simulated results are taken into process and it is compared with the previous methodologies. Let's see the demonstration of our product. Our product is developed under MATLAB code programming. So this is the MATLAB tool main window. So in this you can see this is the command window. Here the current directory shows what are the files in our backup, project backup. Here the details. So if you are selecting any file it will show what are the details available there. Here this is the workspace. So while you are calling any file here the workspace will show the mat files and everything. The temporary values will be in workspace. Here so mainly first this is our main file saliency.m so there is another file saliency.figure this is the guide design file while we are selecting saliency.m if you are running this file this will automatically call the saliency.figure that is the guy frame file see I am running that saliency file it's opening saliency.figure file so this is the file which we are designed for our product so every button has its tooltip the tooltips is indicating what are the process doing by this push buttons these all buttons are called push buttons every button having tooltip so while we are pressing any button that will go to back and program and according to the program what we have written the process acts here for example I am selecting input image it's going to the directory I am selecting the file Berkeley dataset as I input we have chosen Berkeley dataset I have selecting the image pre-processing in pre-processing we have done noise removal so the color image is fitted into three channels so red channel green channel blue channel and the each channel is processed by filtering and then coming to a main frame the filtered image will be here then image gradient here the image gradient is processing here you can you can see the process how it's a uh, iterations are going on so it depends on time and step it is a process the process the image is study in nearby access you can see the difference between original image and diffuse the image here see there are a lot of difference between so and then probability map so probability map is processing to identify the object alone here you can see the darkest points that means it's processing based on the intensity the object points having the lot of intensity while comparing with background so it's showing the objects alone and then we are processing the segmentation that means patches and labels in nine levels because in nine levels we can get any uh, best segmentation result at any level that's what we are going processing with nine levels so color maps and clustered results and to see enlarged result I am giving any choice to select a level for example I am selecting the 16th level and selecting and extracting on that particular level so that's corresponding edges of the cluster and labeled mask and this is the color mask these are the analysis and performance results here while you are pressing the plot graph it will source what are the performance we have achieved through this project thank you